street. She thought my coat was a ghost. Told that bitch no dish or rape stars on my. Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to talk about underrated cards and about some other stuffs. This video is for damage dealers, so don't watch it if you play support. Let's start. First thing is this purple card which gives damage to boss and attack to boss attribute. This card is the best card for early game and you can see I am still using it even I am about to become 70 level. You should try to get 4 of them. In this way you will get 16% damage to boss. Easiest way to increase your damage is this card and you can get it for free from card realm. You can drop it from white frost maze or else you can buy from market with 300,000 shells. But don't forget you need the card with percentage attribute. The next thing is for people who don't want to spend so much mana for Amaterasu card to get damage x attribute. I know it's not easy to make these cards 15 level and sometimes we spend more mana than we expected. But there are some cards that gives enough damage x if you can get the good one. One of them is Wind Striker. It also gives agility. And the next one is Kid. Kid gives strike points. You can get the damage X attribute from these cards easily without spending so much mana. Also you can get basic attributes so I like them. These basic attributes increases our crit rate and damage done. Not much but still better than nothing. But you may choose Frost Goat like me. It gives damage X too. The next thing is Purple Gloves card. This card is so overpowered and many people don't use it just because it doesn't give much battle record. But if you look in effects, it increases our attack and lifesteal percentage for some seconds. 5% attack bonus is not low. It's like having max rating or 3 dexter card. And the lifesteal effect helps me in PvE to survive enough. The next thing is about headwear. You may still don't have a gold headwear or maybe you can't decide which one to choose. And I say choose card and mask. This headwear is the best one around gold headwares because of 5% ignore death. Let's look to other headwares. You see these people using headwares with dodge rate attribute. I always laugh these people. I mean why you need dodge rate when you were a damage dealer. It's still early stage of the game, you just need to focus doing damage not defense. But if you have a headwear like Banefire Demon which gives 8% crit damage, would be perfect. But if you drop Night Thunder, try to sell it as soon as possible, or just dismantle it. No need to use it because of high battle record. The next thing is about headwear card. There is same story for this one. I advise you to use Flower Fairy because of damage X, but you can see many people using cards like Scarred or Plains Goblin to get more battle record. Or cards like these. Having so much battle record is not bad. I agree, but if you don't have damage what you gonna do with Tidal? I was using this before I get Flower Fairy, and then I dismantled it. Anyway. The next thing about emblems, always focus to have damage to boss attribute in your emblem. That will make you stronger. I am getting 11% bonus damage from emblems. Not bad. You can get up to 10% bonus damage. The next thing is cooking. Always cook and level up your chef level. You will be able to do better dishes in this way. Dishes has many different attributes and they boost your damage. There are dishes that gives you crit damage, damage to boss, ignore defense, damage X and even more. I just have these blue dishes my wife sent me. I didn't focus to cooking yet but I will do it soon. But if you don't have someone like my wife, you should maybe start cooking after this video. Now let's talk about the last thing. This is the best part. It's about equipment set. When you become 50 level, you should focus to do Heartseeker set because it gives so much ignore defense. Use this set till 60 level equipments becomes cheaper. This set increases your damage more than you think. Ignore defense is one of the most important attribute in this game. I just have 5% ignore defense and I am getting it from my headwear only. I tried to focus Eternal Storm, but I did a mistake, so I am telling you to do Heartseeker set. You will see the difference when you get set bonus. Also there are good weapons like this one. 15% damage boost. That's all I wanted to talk about underrated cards and other stuff. 
This is the end of the video. I hope you like it and subscribe to me. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.